we just completed the sale for a 2007 Jayco Octane toy hauler and we sold it on Facebook Marketplace. That was an adventure. I don't think I could get over the, the various questions that I got. Now, I I sold it privately. I wanted to sell it privately, get obviously a fraction of what it's worth as a trade-in. And so I bought my newer one that I just purchased. I bought that privately. That went well. It couldn't have gone smoother. I decided then to sell my old one privately. We did it through Facebook Marketplace. I was getting ready to put it on RV Trader, but, but we were able to sell it pretty quickly on Marketplace. The market's hot right now. We were able to sell it pretty quick. But what an adventure trying to sell a camper on Marketplace. I just couldn't get over the questions that we got. And so it was a, a variety of things like, so give me your bottom line. So, what's your bottom line? So tell me, what's the bottom line you'll take? So, what's your bottom line? We get things like, you mean... My Nissan Xterra won't tow this? I'm like, no, no, it weighs 6,600 pounds empty. And it's a toy hauler. So it's made for you to put stuff in. So it's expecting you to put another oh, 3,000 pounds in it. It's close, the GVWR is close to 10,000 pounds. So uh, no, your Nissan Xterra is not going to tow this. Now, mind you, we, we filled out all the information that we could. Uh, my wife wrote it all up. All the information we could possibly put on there. Facebook Marketplace, you're allowed to put 20 pictures. We put all 20 pictures. We put a layout of what it looks like. We even linked to the, the original 2007 spec sheet from Jayco. So you can look at all the specs that are in there. And still, they have, seem to have no idea how much it weighs. No idea what their tow capacity is on their vehicle. I, it show up and go, oh, it's not a fifth wheel? No. Did, did you look at the pictures? Do you have any idea what you're looking for? I had a couple guys show up, they were looking at it, and they're like, all right, it's between this one and another one, they said. I said, okay. And they pulled up the Facebook Marketplace ad for the one they're looking at, which was about the same year, but it was a travel trailer, just a standard bunkhouse travel trailer, which is fine. It was a couple thousand dollars cheaper. And they're like, well, you got to get down to this price, dude, if you want to buy it. I'm like, I, I, no offense, pal, you're comparing a toy hauler to a travel trailer. And, and I understand that. I went, I just went from a toy hauler to a travel trailer. There's a big difference, right? The toy hauler was made to be off-grid. It had 100-gallon freshwater tank, built-in own-in generator. It had solar panels on the roof, professionally installed. It had dual batteries. Uh, it had a built-in air compressor. This was a custom thing done on this one. It, it, it just had all kinds of extra stuff. And he's trying to compare it to a travel trailer the same year. They're not comparable. They're just not the same vehicle. They're not the same camper. You can't compare those two together. This is the type of stuff I got. I couldn't believe how many people showed up and were like, oh, it, it has a scuff here. Oh, I could tell people were pulling things in and out in the back. Oh, it, oh look, it looks like it was rubbed here one time. I'm like, yeah, it's 13 years old. It's 13 years old. It's a toy hauler. It's been hauling stuff all over the place. The guy before me in particular hauled a bunch of quads in it and all kinds. Of... It was made to haul stuff. We took good care of it. We made a lot of improvements to it. It was a nice shape. But it was 13 years old and they act like it's supposed to be brand new. It is what it is. I, I got onto these folks because it was a toy hauler and people were looking for them and the market's really hot. I, I, I had a lot of people find this camper that were hours and hours away. Um, I'm in central PA. I had people calling me from Virginia, from Delaware, from New Jersey. Uh, they called uh, from Erie, which is the other side of the state, kind of from where I'm at. They, all over the place. They're calling, looking at this. They want, they want to look at this trailer. And, and I got on to the fact, after once or twice, that, that, that here's their thing. They want to know your bottom line before they drive all the way there. And I, I understand they want to negotiate a little bit. They want to know your bottom line before they, and then, then, after they drive a few hours and come, then they start nitpicking it apart. So they take your bottom line, they take your bottom line, they take your 
bottom line. And then they start coming down off of that. Oh, well, it has this, and I didn't know that, and I'm not sure I saw that in the picture, and you didn't tell me this, and, that. and they go, oh, no, 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 no. Bottom line was bottom line. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a little stick they have. Well, but I drove so far. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you drove so far. I'm willing to negotiate, but come on. I, and what's the deal with this negotiating, this bottom line thing? I, I looked at what they were going for. I saw them for sale on a number of different websites across the country, and I understand different parts of the country, different prices. So I, I came in with what I thought was a very fair price, you know, uh, that I would negotiate from. And I'm willing, I was willing to come down $800, $1,000 from my price, you know, just to give you an idea. I was, I was willing to negotiate here, no problem. But I, I don't understand this. I put a price in there. So the first thing you get is people trying to get your price down. And the second thing you get is this, um, uh, they want you to give a new price. Before they give you a price, I thought in bartering, you know, I set a price. And then you come and counter with a price, what you think it's worth. And we negotiate. But how come I set a price, and the first thing you want me to do is to set another price? Without you having looked at it, without you knowing anything about it, without you countering it, nothing. Just immediately give me another price. No, I, I, I'm, I got, with my wife and I got so frustrated with that. And then I, I love this question. This was the big one I think we got a lot because it's a toy hauler, because it's made to haul stuff. And remember, I put a, I put a link in there to the spec sheet so people could look up the specs and know exactly where what size the box was, what size the garage door was, how much it could fit in. All that stuff was listed on there. And I get this question, just right off, right off, right off the top. This would be the, usually the first question. Well, of course, on Facebook, the first question is always, is this still available? You get that every time. Okay, whatever. That's a Facebook thing. I understand. But here's the question. Will this hold my Polaris 6RZ for... I, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I, I don't know what size your stuff is. I'm telling you what size the camper is. I don't know what size your stuff is. It's frustrating selling things privately. It's frustrating trying to deal with people on Facebook, uh, Facebook Marketplace. But the camper's gone. We got our new one. We're ready to really get rolling this summer. We're getting a late start because of the COVID and because of switching campers. But here we go. We're ready to take this one out this coming weekend. It's all set. We have reservations made. We're taking the grandkids. We're going camping this weekend. We're ready to try out the new camper. The other one is gone. Thank goodness. Thanks for joining us.